Hi, and thanks for joining us. This is Industry Insights, part of the Remy Network. My name is Mike Wixon, and uh, I'll recommend to you right now, go ahead and subscribe to this channel on YouTube or wherever you're listening to it on any platform that you get your podcasts. And uh, here's why. Every time we have a new interview, you'll be notified about it. And if you're in the real estate management, property management uh, sector and industry, this is the leading group of people, the leading minds in our country talking about the most important topics. Today is no exception. We have Chris Clark joining us from Forest Paving. Chris, thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Uh, delighted because uh, earlier this year, uh, I had the opportunity. I ran into you guys at uh, one of the uh, shows that uh, Remy puts on, and I was really blown away with what you're doing. First of all, the video that I saw at your booth captured my attention because there's nothing quite like a beautifully paved parking lot. Right. I mean, there's just something very finished about that at, at any building. Um, paving is uh, a, an industry that has developed in many ways. Tell us about where Forest began and uh, some of the developments that we're talking about here today. Sure. Well, thanks for again for having me. And, and on behalf of Forest, uh, we appreciate this. Um, uh, actually, we're celebrating the 30th anniversary this year of Forest uh, Group. Um, and, uh, you know, it started out with the owner, Dom, just doing his thing. And one guy uh, built it to a company of over 200 employees. It's amazing that when you do things correctly, uh, it can grow, it can last. Right. Uh, it can become the standard. Yeah. Um, and in fact, uh, you've done that many times as a company. We, we talked just before uh, we started recording today. And what I found fascinating was that uh, Forrest has taken a leap into the technology realm, really, in many ways. Talk to me about this new technology you have for paving parking lots, Smooth Ride. Smooth Ride, yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, so we've, we, we got Smooth Ride a couple of years ago. Um, we, when we were introduced to it, it was really designed for proper grading for highways and roads. Okay. Um, when we introduced ourselves to this company, um, you know, because the majority of our work is parking lots and, and things like that, we thought, can this be used? on a parking lot. Oh, wow. And uh, so with our designers and their programmers, we were able to actually come up with a whole new program uh, dedicated purely for parking lots. So they changed that technology, this breakthrough technology for road making. Yeah, they adapted it, right? They yeah. adapted it from road making to not only road making, but also incorporate um, parking lots as well. Uh, why, yeah. is it, why is it such a, a cool new technology? What is so fascinating about uh, well, Smooth Ride? We won't, we don't, we're not going to have to talk about the technology side of things, but the, the, the benefit at the end of it is you're going to have about as perfect a parking lot as you're going to have when we're all said and done. Because what happens is that the technology takes over for the manual labor that we've been accustomed to using um, for grading and things like that. So when you take the human element out of it, you take the human error out of it. And uh, the, the program actually programs all of our machines to do the work and really the, the operators just have to steer. So it takes the grading measurements, does all of that and handles it ongoing in one central computer to make sure that you get the smooth, smoothest ride possible. That's right. I'm starting to understand where this came <laughs> from now. Exactly, yeah. What are some of the uh, benefits to having a smooth ride paved parking lot? Well, the number one thing is, is it's going to look about as smooth as you're going to get, right? And, and you know, one of the, the way that asphalt fails is by water penetrating into it. So if you, if you have ponding or um, uh, oh. bad grading towards, uh, towards proper drainage, uh, catch basins or wherever, okay. um, you're going to get ponding, you're going to have water sitting. When that water's sitting there, it, it eventually will seep in. The integrity of the asphalt starts to become weaker and the, the water will seep in. Once that happens, of course, in the Canadian winters, um, it's going to get ice underneath, moving and pushing things all around. So if you can have that water drain properly um, in a short period of time after a rainfall or a melt, um, then you, you start to prevent those issues from popping up and uh, obviously increasing the longevity of your, of your parking lot. What are some of the parking lot requirements to use Smooth, smooth Ride? Do you have to have a, um, a certain size parking lot to, to make it not, workable? Not necessarily. Um, you know, we're not going to do somebody's uh, residential driveway using this or anything like that. But okay. I mean, mental note. Okay. <laughs> not that I was asking. Yeah. For a friend, I was yeah, asking. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, 
No, we, I mean, if you think of your typical plaza or, or uh, small commercial, anything from that and, and to any size, as large as you want, we can do it. Some of the imagery I saw of the parking lots that you did were obviously uh, sort of a, one of those massive warehouse uh, locations. And the parking lot seemed to, to go on for a kilometer. It yeah. was essentially a road next to a road next to a road going on forever. Does it also uh, assist in the time that it takes uh, to do the paving? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, thinking about all the uh, surveys, and they're, they're not only cumbersome and, and uh, uh, prone to error, mm. but the, the cost uh, benefit ab around that is, is it, it goes out the window when you, when you start to bring in more of the manual. So being able to drive around with our scanner truck, create you know, hundreds of thousands of, of data units to allow us to create a program um, just takes the, the, that kind of error out of, the, out of the, the overall job and allows us to create, as I said, almost a perfect parking lot. Okay, I'm a layman. Uh, you can tell because I, I was thinking about you paving my driveway just now with your massive technology. Explain uh, to a layman, if you don't mind, what the technology does. You mentioned a scanner truck. Yeah, so the scanner truck goes around and, and it moves as, as fast as normal moving tra traffic would move. Uh, what, it, what the scanner does is it, it uses GPS and GIR to assist with um, creating a 3D map of the entire parking lot. That will include the, the, the depths of the, of the asphalt, um, where the current uh, grading is uh, or needs to be, mm -hmm. as well as uh, picking up manhole covers, uh, catch basins, so that when we're creating a plan, when the technician who gets all that data creates the plan, he knows exactly where to grade because we know where all, the, where all of the drainage should be going. Uh, Chris, obviously the next series of questions revolve around some of the big concerns with uh, landlords and building owners. And of course, that's uh, the expense associated with it. Is there cost savings in this process with the smooth ride? That's a good question. And, and what we've found with most of our projects right now is that not only are you saving up front because of uh, our ability to plan the overall project more in, in more detail, thus knowing exactly how much asphalt we're going to need, how much base layer we're going to need. Mm. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's really about the longevity because when you don't have ponding um, and, and the water is getting off, off the pavement fast, um, you're not going to have that water constantly sitting and, and really messing with the integrity of so the So you get, you, you know, your cost year over year just brings the cost, right. the savings right up. Yeah, I mean, right up. you could, you could as, in some cases, get 50% more time out of your, uh, or sorry, uh, longevity out of it. So that means I don't have to do my, my parking lot again for years. That's fantastic. And, and, and yeah. also uh, without the repairs. Uh, that, and that even to the process where you start, to, the, the, it starts to deteriorate, you know, underneath your, your tenant's cars, um, you, you, people stretch that out and stretch that out until the tenants make it an issue. Exactly. You're buying yourself a lot more time. Yeah, there, there is a point. saying that, you know, asphalt's not going to make you any money, but asphalt can certainly lose you money because, A, uh, for liability issues, right? If the, with ponding and freezing, you get, you get ice. Oh, with, right. with cracks, you get tripping hazards. So being able to have a nicely, you know, nicely graded parking lot for years and years and years to come, you're not going to be losing money on, on liability you're and insurance. Exactly. Yeah, you're eliminating hassles that you yeah. might otherwise have. Uh, okay, uh, let me throw a curveball at you. Uh, the environmentalist in me uh -huh. asks, uh, how is this a more sustainable product? Like, how does it make a difference to our environment? Well, as I just mentioned, just knowing exactly what kind of uh, products we need to ship from, from our plant or, or our suppliers to uh, the, the, the project, the location, um, where we're not wasting trips, we're not wasting fuel, we're not wasting uh, oh, all of that, but, but also true. knowing exactly how much asphalt we need to bring back and we're not wasting that asphalt as well. So, and we can also, with, with this program, we, can, we know how much to mill or remove from the property as well. So it's, it's down to a, such an accurate uh, measurement that that's where the savings happen because of our, um, our just the accuracy. Just the overall. accuracy, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That makes sense yeah. to me. Uh, yeah, if you're not if if you're not wasting asphalt and you're not wasting fuel, you're creating a more sustainable That's right. product. That yeah. is true. Uh, I thought I would catch you there, but you got me. Okay. Uh, one last thing uh, I wanted to ask. We were talking about redoing an entire parking lot. There is that situation where ponding and cracking begins, and the liability comes into place. If I'm a landlord or a business uh, owner or, or building owner that doesn't have a budget to do the whole parking lot, can you help fix those problems now? 
Absolutely, yeah, of course. Um, by taking a, an overall uh, scan of the entire property, we can tell exactly where, and knowing exactly where those ponds are happening now, mm. we can say, okay, well, you know, for instance, if, if you've got a 50,000 square foot uh, parking lot, but only 5,000 square foot is really uh, compromised, um, then we can make a recommendation to just kind of mill and pave and, fi and, and uh, fix that area if there's base repairs as well. And making sure that, again, everything is sloping properly to the catch basins. And buying more time, that longevity, exactly. keeping exactly. everything, all the water yeah. away. Well, this we can't guarantee any other part of the parking lot, but that part, we know that you that do. It, okay, yeah. the, the repair exactly. that you do. But it's good to know that you have this option that if if I need to do something in the interim, yeah, this is a good solution yeah, for that. Absolutely. Chris, thanks so much for talking to us about the uh, Smooth Ride paving system from Forest. Where can people find out more? Um, you can go to our website at uh, forestgroup.ca. Um, and you can, you can get all the information there and how to contact us. And, of course, uh, on the social media as I'm available, as, as all of my colleagues are as well. Thanks so much. I appreciate Thank this, you. Chris. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I appreciate you joining us. Uh, we'll catch you again right here on Industry Insights. See you next time.